Hey Leo, welcome to October with me, Yazara. For those of you who are new, greetings. I go by Yazara. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Show your girl some love for all returning subscribers. Welcome back. It's always good to have you. Thank you all so much for your continuous support on the channel, guys. Please continue to do so. In the meantime, as you watch this video, please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. Therefore, these messages may or may not resonate. Be sure to take what resonates, guys, and leave the rest. Also, consider checking out your Sun, Moon, Rising videos, as well as other readers on YouTube for additional messages. For those of you looking to book personal readings, guys, I am available. You can email me at thesaggirltarot at gmail.com. You can download the Sash Girl Tarot app, guys, or you can book from the website. Um, I left all that information in the description box below for you guys to check out. So be sure to check it out. Um, lastly, my deck, guys, the Our World Today Daily Guidance Oracle Cards is now available on Amazon for those of you who are interested if you would like to support and get the deck either for yourself or a friend uh, maybe if you want to send it to your favorite reader or something like that it's available right now on Amazon uh, the deck is selling right now for 45% off the original retail price so again if you want to go get it guys check the description box below all the information to the deck is there this is my first published deck guys there are 57 oracle cards that come in this deck again all illustrated by me this is a self-published self-published project i think you will absolutely adore the cards all right they are again available on amazon this deck comes with a mini guidebook and there's also an extended version of the book which will be available again soon on amazon if you guys want to check that out uh, again, all the information can be found in the description box. So with that being said, guys, let's get started. Okay. Oh, 1026. Okay, I'm getting something about a birthday this month. Leo, somebody's birthday is coming up. Um, this could be uh, a Libra or a Scorpio. Perhaps you're dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising. I'm, I'm getting something about the 26th or around the 26th or maybe you guys have like Leo moon maybe you're Libra rising or maybe you're a Libra sun or Scorpio sun and then you have Leo in your chart um, but I feel like I'm talking to someone who has Scorpio or Libra in their chart if not you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio or Libra I'm getting something significant about the end of the month I'm specifically picking up on a birthday or somebody's birthday. Um, matters of your career or your rather your workplace environment could pop up. Uh, some of you could be new also. There could be like a new workplace environment. Definitely getting your, your primary focus could be on your career, money, whether or not you're on the right track. All right. I kind of get this vibe where some of you are... Um, distancing yourself from certain co-workers there could be some workplace drama going on um there could also be a virgo in the vortex a capricorn or a taurus earth sign hmm definitely getting money lots of money or, or uh maybe you work at like a bank or something like that Okay, we have a scholar. So some of you are uh, definitely professionals or you're working with professionals or dealing with a professional in some way, shape, or form. Um, there's more to that card, though. Then we have the polys. All right. And finally, the catfish. Okay, so hmm, I wonder what's going on here. Uh, I'm not trying to be messy, but I do see here three is a crowd. That's what I'm getting three as a crowd so far that's what I'm getting we have the entrepreneur card uh, reversed as the shadow so it's giving me multiple things okay some of you could be um, 
uh, college graduates perhaps perhaps you have a master's degree bachelor's or something like that or you're certified in some way shape or form there could be some type of workplace romance going on so you have to keep a professional uh, like persona however I feel like some of you are, are, are a little irritated because there's like this uh, this invisible animosity between you and a coworker. Like I kind of get this energy where someone thinks that they know your dirty secrets. They they think they know you or they think they have something on you. And I feel like it be it could be because you had sex with this person or even if this isn't at work, perhaps this person knows where you work or something like that. Like I mean somebody's side chick could be throwing hints to the wife or something like that or side guy or somebody f on somebody's girlfriend or something like that and there's like this this um, sneak dissing or something like that i hope that makes sense definitely getting the energy of someone dealing with a taurus for sure or a fire sign or someone's dealing with an with an earth and a fire sign i'm also getting something about um someone who's mixed i'm hearing afro latina Some of you could also have heard from an ex I'm getting, something like that, or you went to go help somebody. Like, this could be your ex. You went to help your ex or something, or you helped your ex get a job, or your ex is in town, and you don't want your new person to know that you talked to your ex, or you talked to your baby mama. So there's something like that. There's some type of odd energy between you and two people. Okay, let's, let's get more. I'm going to read from the book. Uh, let's get some keywords for the scholar. All right, so this card talks about getting the answers. Mm -hmm, someone wants answers. That, that's what I'm getting. Uh, more keywords here are self mastery, professional, lesson learned, adulthood, dedication, knowledgeable, devotee, information, fact check, by the book, power, leveling up, educated teacher. Someone could be a teacher, or I'm getting a professor. Or someone could be dating a teacher or a professor or someone who's supposed to conduct themselves um, in a certain way. Someone's kind of confused. Like, I'm kind of getting this energy where, let's say if you're doing an interview or something like that. Like, let's say if this is you. You're standing there. You're doing an interview. There's someone in the background, like, showing you their titty or something. Or, I don't I don't know. They're doing something. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. Like, But I hope you kind of get the vibe of what I'm talking about. Like, there's someone in the background like, hey, Leo, remember when we... Something like that. Like, there's some sh some weird shit. While you're trying to keep a straight face. Or you're trying to remain quiet about something or on the down low. Oh, wait. This card is about culture. Sophisticated. Okay. The polys. Power in numbers. Someone could also be a politician. Or dealing with a politician. Or, or something like that. So, yeah, the power in numbers, the polys. Upright keywords are bonds. Poly, someone could be in a poly relationship or open, could be. But I'm, I'm getting someone doesn't know about this because this catfish card is here. Hmm. Somebody's ex could also be like following their new person online or something. Like this reminds me of like um. One of those, what was what was the name of that movie with Sanaa Lathan when she cheated on her husband and um, the guy tried to make friends with her husband, but he was actually like fucking with her. Like he was messing with her head and stalking her and harassing her, threatening to tell, like something like that is here. Or was that uh, Taraji? All right, let's see. Um, unity, soulmate, more to draw from, trust resourcefulness multiple partners group activity or group activities like-mindedness and agreements so someone agreed to something but I feel like they lied about it with this catfish card or someone's trying to blackmail you so catfish guys it's about usernames um, keywords here are dishonesty catfish false self deception feeling silly someone feels stupid I'm getting it, least person you expect I think Capricorn got this card someone can be dealing with a Capricorn or have Capricorn in their chart 
obsession. Yep, somebody's obsessed now. That's what I'm getting. Or they're acting that way. Self-love. This card is about bait, acting, mocking, trolling, or troll. Someone, Someone's become a troll or um, a stalker. Copycat, fake account manipulation, seduction, and adaptability. Mm. So somebody didn't um, mix business with pleasure in some way, shape, or form. All right, let's see the entrepreneur reversed. Um, so this card is essentially about self-mastery, right? But in its reverse, it talks about self-doubt, irresponsibility, dependency, insecurity, scams, or rip-offs, um, poverty, mindsets, slow progress, stress, unemployment. Yeah, someone could be like, oh, I'm going to tell this or that if you don't like someone could be trying to get you out of money too if you look at the background this person is holding a phone with the, the cash app um symbol on there slow progress giving up setbacks vulnerability no results impatient biting off more than you can chew and being overworked mm -hmm. yeah i know what this is talking about Somebody's trying to hide something, but whomever was involved with whatever they're trying to hide, even if it isn't a relationship, it could be anything. Somebody is, like, they're just anxious to tell. Like, they keep throwing hints or they keep making jokes about it or something like that. Like, I feel like you're trying to be professional in some way, shape, or form or uh, keep a certain attitude or maintain a position or something like that whereas this third party they're they're playing games or they're trying to manipulate you as a way to uh make you feel like oh if i expose this then your career is over so someone could be taunting you let's get more i feel like some of you yeah you're college graduates or you're in school some of you could be in school now I'm getting something like that too. You could be in school or going back to school. I also see here something catching up to somebody in their elder years or their latter years. Something's catching up to somebody. I feel like this is something that you did in college or something like that. Or someone that you had sex with in college. We have a sudden wealth. We have community, and then we have main mail. Hmm. Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is giving me 12th house energy. Like, I feel like someone's threatening to tell the whole community, the family, or something like that, or someone's a part of some type of community. Maybe someone was initiated into uh, some type of group when they were in college. And that's probably what brought about this sudden wealth. Someone is uh, protected by a community in some way, shape, or form, or they belong to a community. This could be a man, a grown-ass man. That's what I'm getting. Main male. Or this is a man in your life, or perhaps you did something with a man or somebody's man. Why, are, why is the police here? Thoughts. Okay, and then we have family room. Yep, somebody got a family. I'm telling you. That's what this is pointing to. Somebody has a family or this could have to do with a family member. Someone doesn't want their family to see them in a certain light. The number three is significant. Yeah, I feel like this is communication. Someone doesn't want their business out there in the open. Something about a third party. Or maybe someone's wife or girlfriend or husband or boyfriend is out of town and someone had like a little sneaky link or something. Or somebody paid somebody to do something sexual with them. Catfish is with message. Okay, so I, I kind of get this energy where, you know what this reminds me of, guys? Black Mirror. That's what this reminds me of. One of those episodes in that show, Black Mirror, where... Um, they were watching someone on their laptop. They found out what the person was doing and then they blackmailed them to go rob banks or they were gonna tell their secret. Like they sent them on missions. They were sending them messages like, hey, we know what you did, we saw you. Um, yeah, if you don't go do this, 
we're gonna put your business online because that person was actually looking at some shit online that he would he had no business looking at. Yeah, something's gonna hit home in October. House. All right, let's get some more oracles. I feel like someone's texting you, calling you, something like that. But again, I feel like it's blackmail. And I'm kind of getting this energy like, hey, can you stop fucking, I'm at work. What are you doing? Why are you calling me? Or I'm with my wife. What are you doing? I'm with my man. What are you doing? Why are you calling me? This person's like, oh, I see you with your little girlfriend, huh? Get rid of her! Yeah, thin line between love and hate. With Martin Lawrence, it's kind of giving that vibe so far. All right, let's see. We have butterfly metamorphosis. Yeah, things are changing. And then we have crown here, personal power. I'm telling you, someone's in a position of power or someone is like a teacher or a politician or a preacher or something like that. And um, whatever information this is that gets out could change everything. I feel like also this is, this is part of your personal growth and spiritual development. This is a stage in your life where it's like you have to determine whether or not you're going to allow this person to keep holding this over your head or if you're going to just decide, you know what, it's time for the truth to come out. Because I feel like for some of you, people still got your back or for some of you, you're not going to lose your wife or your partner. That's what I'm getting. If anything, this person may come off as a psychopath. And um, you still, you know, remain who you are. And you keep what you have. I feel like, yeah, this is the ultimate test of honesty. Yep. I'm getting, if you tell on yourself or if you confess this yourself, this person doesn't have anything on you. But I'm not sure if you're ready for that. Let's see. Yep, birds. See? Love birds. And then the garden. Mm. I feel like somebody's definitely threatening to talk or to sing or to tell the truth. That's what I'm getting. Something about a third party situation that someone was hiding or is hiding. Messengers. Birds are messengers. So I feel like somebody's like, hey, I'm going to go tell this or that if you don't do this or that. So... Let's go a little deeper, guys. I'm going to pull from the tarot. I'm going to take a look at the recent past, the current energy, and then I'm going to see what's to come. Keep in mind, guys, that this is general, so it may or may not resonate. Again, be sure to take what resonates, leave the rest. Also, guys, please hit the like button. It helps the channel out a lot. Thank you so, so much in advance, Leo. I appreciate you. Let's take a look at the recent past. The current energy, and then I'm going to take a look, guys, sorry, at the patterns here. See how we can make this make more sense. All right, Leo, let's get a recent pass, please, for Leo. Mm. Two of swords reversed. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like you thought that the air was clear. You thought that uh, everything was cool. Uh, you thought that you can maybe come out of hiding or something like that. Like, I feel like you thought that you had some type of mutual agreement with someone. We have this four of pentacles reverse, or perhaps you thought that this person went away or that everything was, I'm hearing the coast was clear. Everything was cool. Maybe you gave up some money or something like that for them not to tell your business. Also see here, some of you have been working. You're trying to stay productive. Yeah, hermit mode is here. We have this three of pentacles. I'm telling you something about your work or what you do for work or what this person does for work. For whatever reason, is significant. Somebody's career is on the line. That's what I'm getting. So maybe that's why this hermit card is here. Some of you, maybe you, you've been calling off, off work or this could be school or this could be a co-worker. Maybe you, you messed around with a co-worker. Or something like that. But I feel like because of whatever's going on between you and this person, you're trying to dodge them or this is them. They're trying to dodge you. Because this could be, in fact, be uh, 
interchangeable. This could be vi vice versa. Shadow card here, guys, is the Three of Wands. So again, I feel like maybe a few years has passed, a few weeks or something like that. Maybe you thought the coast was clear. Like, I'm getting this vibe where someone thought, okay, if I ghost this person, they'll go away. Or if I stop responding, they'll go away. Or if I, if I, um... I just stop showing up to work or if I if I stop talking to them so much or if I um, let them know that this is nothing serious that they'll just go away maybe this person moved away or something or maybe you did or maybe you blocked them or you ghosted them but I kind of get this vibe where no they're back or you thought you paid them off this could be hush money or something like that I feel like also somebody's business is being spread in the workplace. So someone's kind of embarrassed about it or they're in her hermit mode because of this. This could also be just um, energy of uh, your your living situation. Some of you have also been looking for work. Or looking to see where you can get the, the most money. Or Maybe you guys are looking for a better paying job. Some of you are also uh, in the process of hiring people. I'm getting something about HR. Someone travels for work as well. I feel like for the most part, Leo, you've been alone or you're trying to be alone. You just want to be by yourself. That's what I'm getting. I just want to be by myself. Okay. What's this two of swords reverse? I feel like you finally saw the real them. Queen of Swords reversed. This could be an air sign and the hanged one. This could be a Pisces. Um, this could be a spiritual leader or something. Or maybe you guys, maybe you were the one that was tricked. Maybe this person is the professional, but they're like a pervert or something. I see spiritual enlightenment, though. I feel like someone's also been a little bitter about things. Some of you have been getting some advice from spiritualists, or maybe you've been watching a lot of, like, spiritual videos or something. Or some of you went to someone for a reading or for some type of advice. Like, how the fuck do I get myself out of this? Or what do I do? This could be also the ancestors. You've been trying to connect with the ancestors. Temperance reverse. This could be a Sag, or you could have Sag in your chart. Mm, definitely feel like that. Like it's not a match. This person makes you mad. Yeah, I feel like three of okay, three of Pentacles clarified by three of Pentacles. This could be someone who either they're in your same uh, industry, or this could be the same work environment. Remember, I said that earlier when I saw that number ten at the beginning of the reading something about your work environment or this is someone that you work with used to work with this is a co-worker something like that I feel like some of you are, are learning a harsh lesson when it comes to mixing business with pleasure why is the hermit here that's a lot we have page of cups okay we have page of swords and then we have the two of wands reversed again I feel like you're really trying to get away from someone who keeps taunting you they keep messaging you or they keep throwing like little subliminal messages they keep flirting with you and you're trying to turn your back or act like you don't notice them or see them or that's the vibe that you've been giving them um <clears throat> excuse me I'm also getting somebody's trying to act like they don't see somebody or they don't know somebody but they do like again there's some type of awkwardness I feel like also somebody's very suspicious, like, hmm, somebody's watching you and this person fight, and they, they sense that something is going on. We have the tower reversed. Again, you guys are trying your best not to get fired, not to blow up, not to lose your shit, something like that. This person's trying to force you out of hermit mode and right back into their arms. Because guess what? Look what else is here. They are threatening to expose your secret. Or whatever secret love affair this is. Or secret child or something like that. Or something that you did. You're threatening to expose it. We have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you guys don't even feel comfortable at work anymore. Will of Fortune reverse. Or someone keeps coming up to your job. 
I'm getting something about your your work being uh, the devil reversed. And we have the two of cups. Yep, yeah, this is like a fatal attraction type of thing. The sun is reversed. Mm, you're not happy. Some of you are claiming that this is not your kid. For those of you who are in a situation with a child, this is not my kid. Or I don't know if that's my baby. Maybe this person is claiming that they're pregnant. For others of you, I feel like right now you're 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 trying to focus on work but again there's something going on with a romantic partner or someone that you slept with that you're trying to leave or run away from or you don't want to be seen with or you just don't want anything else to do with them but it's affecting your work it keeps saying that this is some type of karmic energy somebody could also in fact lose their job because with this devil reversed i feel like somebody's about to show their ass i think they showed you how bad it could get or they warned you how crazy, quote unquote, they could be if they don't get what they want. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles reverse. There's somebody here that is absolutely clueless as to what's going on behind closed doors. I, I feel like this is that other third party. Even if this isn't a girlfriend or boyfriend, yep, they're clueless. Look, the full reverse. If this isn't a girlfriend or boyfriend, this is someone that uh, you're just seeing or talking to. This could also be your best friend, your mother, I'm getting. Somebody's clueless as to what somebody's really out here doing or what they used to do. <clears throat> Let's see. Ten of Swords. Tell me this person's... Six of Pentacles. They're, they're black, black. This is blackmail, period. They're threatening you. Like, I, that's what I'm picking up based on the rest of the energy here. Threatening to end your career or stop some type of charity or donations from coming in. Something like that is here. Somebody's like, oh, if you don't give me this amount of money or if you don't give me more money or more child support, I'm going to ruin your career. I'm going to make your life a living hell. Some of you are like, why did I do this? Why did I meet this person? Or something like that. Like, fuck, I wish I never met you. Why is the devil reversed? Yeah, for some of you, I feel like this will ruin you. Yeah, look, the devil upright. Look at the synchronicities here. For some of you, you're going to have to play devil's advocate. I'm getting something like that here. This person is very evil. Very manipulative, and they're trying to control you. They're trying to keep you stuck in, in this so-called situationship with them, or this deal, or this contract. What's this, Two of Cups? Mm -hmm. I'm getting you belong to us, or you belong to me. We have the Knight of Swords. This is definitely some um, fatal attraction type shit. That's what I'm getting. This is like, again, um, thin line between love and hate. This person doesn't want to see you with anybody else. They're addicted to you. Yep, I can't make it up. Eight of pentacles. I'm sorry, eight of cups reversed. They want you to come back if you left. Yep, I feel like you're married. Someone, someone could have stepped out on their wife or maybe you guys broke up. Or um, maybe this was like a fling after a break from, I don't know, your main person. You started entertaining this person. Or this could be Page of Wands reverse back in the day when you were a kid. I see the Emperor, so this could be a baby. Maybe someone made a baby with a side chick or something like that. And this person just won't go away. They're threatening to uh, expose you. They want a uh, a commitment. All right, what's the pattern here? And then I'm going to close this out. This could be an air sign or a Capricorn towards Virgo. Knight of Wands. Okay, so someone needs to control their so-called sexual urges. I'm getting maybe you you get you start feeling a, a little freaky or something when you're high or when you're on some shit or when you didn't pop a pill or something. Yeah, the world. We have the Empress. Someone needs to take responsibility also of their uh, responsibilities. 
someone needs to be a better mother or a better better father i'm getting i'm also getting someone's learning a lesson here when it comes to what they want versus what other people want this is like a reality check 